Okay, I have a lot to share in this video, so let's just get right to it. Check this out. The grand jury report about Catholic priest abuse in Pennsylvania shows the Catholic Church is a criminal syndicate. And it says in the article, it is time to face the horrible truth. The Catholic Church is a pedophile ring. According to the grand jury report of six dioceses in Pennsylvania over a period of 70 years, 300 priests abused over 1,000 children in Pennsylvania, and church officials repeatedly covered it up. The release of the report is a searing indictment of the filth that has existed in the Catholic Church. While this report covers only six dioceses in Pennsylvania, it is breathtakingly horrific in documenting the scope of sexual abuse of children. It chronicles in detail how the Catholic hierarchy, from the diocese to the Vatican, worked not only to mitigate the church's legal exposure, but to maintain strategies to avoid scandal. Now, as most of you that frequent my main site know, I have posted hundreds of articles and websites that compile even more thousands of articles regarding the crimes of the Roman Catholic Church. You can see that page here on my site. But if you read the article regarding the grand jury report here, you will find some very graphic and morbid methods the Catholic Church used to help the child rapists escape prosecution. As they did with the Nazis in the Vatican rat line, they made sure the priests would be relocated to areas wherein no one knew about their previous crimes and so they could continue on in their sinful ways. I also have a section on my RCC and sex page that shares articles about how most Roman Catholic priests around the world are in fact homosexual, and the Vatican prelates were recently outed as 98% homosexual, but that truth has been just as hidden by the popes of Rome as were the millions of children that have been raped and killed by the Vatican priests over the centuries. But what irks me the most in all this is, is that it was all prophesied, and not a single reporter and only a very small handful of preachers ever even talk about it. When the prophet Daniel was describing the man of sin in the Vatican in the 11th chapter of his book, he stated in Daniel 11.37 that he, you know, the Pope, neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women. That's pretty blunt. Yet next to no one on the planet is aware of that because, as also prophesied, all the world wonders after the beast, and the agreements they have with the Pope in his ecumenical movement forbids them to speak out against their duly elected one world church leader, the Pope. And the basic reality in all this is 100% of all these pedophiles in the Church of Rome are in fact homosexuals, just as the prophet Daniel prophesied they would be. You know, besides the fact that every politician on earth bows in worship before the Popes of Rome on and off camera, as prophecy predicted they would do, or the fact that every news outlet and most church leaders today blaspheme the God of heaven by calling the Pope Holy Father, or the fact the Popes control and even protect the largest known organized group of child rapists on the planet, as this article proved once again, or that everything from the murder of the Vatican bankers to actual devil worship being discovered in the Vatican by many eyewitnesses. That all being said, have you ever heard of a Pope being jailed for any of these crimes? No, never. And this is the norm for the popes as they have been documented as doing such crimes for many centuries. And since Daniel the prophet also predicted the popes would know how to use craft and even embrace dark sentences of the devil, not only do they escape prosecution, they are uplifted by their political pawns as the only moral authority on earth. And so it is fitting that the report of the grand jury of Pennsylvania would in fact declare the Church of Rome to be a criminal syndicate. And by the way, that means one more prophecy has been fulfilled here. That being the one proclaimed in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3, that when speaking of the return of Jesus Christ, it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, you know, the return of Christ, except there come a falling away first, like we all see, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which we now know is the Pope. In other words, before Jesus returns, the popes of Rome will be exposed by the obedient remnant church, so as to help the souls still trusting the pope to see the need to sever all connections with the pope. And keep in mind, Pennsylvania is just one state. There are thousands of these pedophile priests in all the cities in America, and tens of thousands are strewn all over the planet. And now that Jesus is about to return, most people alive today know for a fact that the popes of Rome are indeed the prophesied man of sin. And yes, for those looking a tad deeper into this prophetic fact, one of the main reasons Antichrist will arrive soon to stand next to the Pope is so as to help him cover up his current scandals by using the blatant deception of Satan himself claiming to be Jesus Christ on earth. What I mean is it's gotten so bad for the Vatican now 
that they literally need their dying God to make his long prophesied appearance to prevent them from losing the religious and political power they have killed hundreds of millions to attain over the centuries. And then, of course, bring forth the mark of the beast. But that power will be very short-lived, according to prophecy, when that day comes. Because Jesus Christ himself will put an end to the Pope and all those that have bowed to him and his counterfeit Jesus. Thank you for watching. God bless.